I wish Twitter had one too. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa. So today I decided I'm going to do a video going over some of the features that OnlyFans offers. I'm going to actually be using my real OnlyFans account. There are some things I won't be able to show you, but we're just going to go through this screen recording and I can show you what all of the icons mean and maybe some of the features that you weren't aware that OnlyFans offered. So let's get started. I've never done a video like this before. Obviously, this is a pretty new channel, so just bear with me. Let me know down below in the comments if you would also like me to do a video like this regarding Pocket Stars as well. I have another video that will be coming out very soon about the differences between Pocket Stars and OnlyFans if you're interested. Oh my goodness, I have never done a screen recording before. I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> Obviously, you can see Compose New Post. If you click this button, you can upload a photo. It says Add Media. I usually do this on my phone, but I'm recording this video on my phone, so we're doing this screen recording on my laptop. As you can see, you can upload content from either your phone or your laptop. It just depends on the system that you've worked out in order to create content yourself. Beside that, there is a video button where you can record videos live. This is not the same as live streaming on your account. This is just to record content to send out as a message. Personally, I've never used this feature, but I just wanted to go over everything comprehensively so that you know what each feature does and you're not afraid to play with them in the future. Similarly to that, the next button is a recording button. It looks like a little microphone. And then there is a box that looks similar to the upload photos button that is actually to upload from your vault, which is an option to either upload some old content that you may have archived or just that you wanted to use again. And then you can click this dot, dot, dot to see more. And these are some of the other features that I personally like to use. You can add a poll, which I love doing to figure out, you know, where my fans are at with my content, what kind of new content they would like to see, maybe something that I haven't done before or something that I'm thinking about trying out. And I just wanna see to gauge how they are going to react to it. Next to that, there is a sand timer. This button is so that you can add an expiration to your post. I like to use this a lot when I'm doing either shout out for shout out or paid promotions. My paid promotions, I'll post for 24 hours so that they're not flooding my feed and breaking up the content that I have made myself. Next to that is my absolute favorite <laughs> button is the schedule post button. I don't know if you know this, but I love to run an automated kind of program, I should say, where I post every day. I try to post at 6 a.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m., and 10 p.m. So the schedule button is my best friend. I can make all of my content ahead of time and schedule it to post whenever I would like as far out as you want it to be. I think the most I've ever gotten it out was like two weeks, but even that was pretty impressive, I would say. It gives me a lot more free time to focus on other areas of my life, so I really love the schedule post button. I wish Twitter had one too. And then alongside that, there's kind of like a money sign in a little circle sunburst type of thing, and that is to set a goal so you can tell OnlyFans how much money you would like to make on a post and your subscribers can try to help you by sending you extra tips. I don't really use this button a lot unless there's something that I really need to pay for or something. I think I've only used it like two or three times when I had an unexpected expense come up but I think that this is a great way to encourage your subscribers to send you more tips. I thank every one of you 
who may be watching this that does send me a tip. I really appreciate it. Down here you see this picture of me where you can add your story. I need to update my picture, obviously. It still has me in my red hair. It's almost from four months ago because that is from Christmas now and it's almost April. I'm not a huge fan of this feature. I don't think it's as easy to use as posting a story to like Snapchat or Instagram or even like a Twitter fleet. I'm not a huge fan of the way you can decorate. I think it's very simple, but I do like to use it every once in a while. I'll usually just like snap a picture before I'm gonna get in the shower, like when I first wake up and I'm getting dressed just to add some extra value for my subscribers when they're paying for my content. I just love to add as much value as I can because I know that I do have a higher subscription price. So I feel as if I need to create more value in order to retain my fan base. So that's why I like to use the story feature. There's also an option to go live right beside that. I like to use this when I'm practicing pole dancing. It's not really something that I schedule. I know that that is something a lot of people do, but I don't really have the equipment for that. So sometimes just randomly at night, if I have a lot of active subscribers, I'll just turn on my live camera and, you know, pole dance or something for them. I don't do this all the time, so don't like subscribe expecting to see that on like a regular basis. Sometimes it's at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes it's at like 9 p.m. It just kind of depends on like when I'm messing around, you know. One of the things I love about having an OnlyFans is the freedom that I have to run it in any way that I see fit. And I see it fit to just have fun with it. So I like to go live sometimes just for shits and giggles like you can schedule when you're gonna do it you can buy a camcorder if you have used sites like chatterbait or something like that and you're good at camming maybe this is an option that you are more likely to utilize but personally i just use it for fun every once in a while to the right of that you also have the option to start a promotional campaign which is where you can either offer a discount or you can offer free trials, which is a great way to get some extra subscribers. If you lower your price and have a little sale, you're able to customize the offer limit. Personally, what I usually do is no limits on how many people get it. I usually will just do it for a certain amount of days. You can do that however you want and I'll do to both new and existing subscribers. You can choose how much of a discount you wanna give and how many days that you want to give out this discount. There's also an option to add a memo. There's a similar option on this other tab up in the right hand corner where you can give away free trials I will do this either when I'm doing like a like for like with another girl or sometimes if we're doing shout out for shout out just to make sure that everyone is staying honest. You don't need to do this, but it is another option for when you are choosing to give out free trials. Also, when I shut down my Dropbox, I gave everyone a free one month trial to my OnlyFans. And sometimes I'll do some like fun games. I remember last summer I did what I called like a virtual scavenger hunt and I had 10, I had 10 free subscriptions that you had to like follow clues around my social media presences in order to find the clues, which was really fun, I think. And the 10 people who found them got a free sub got a free trial subscription. I usually don't give these out for free. I know some people will do that kind of like a flash sale. I just personally don't like to do that. I just don't like to give it away that easily, I think. I like to make people work for their free trials. <laughs> I also have my Twitter linked up to my OnlyFans account, so there is this button right here. Obviously it looks like a bird where you can share your posts to Twitter. 
And then let's talk about some of the sidebar options. Obviously you can see an overview of your profile. You can choose to go to your profile. You can check your referrals. I'll leave my referral link down below in the description box if you would like me to help you start your own OnlyFans. That is where you can go not only to find the link for your referrals, but also you can see how much money you've earned from all of your referrals. Bookmarks, I think obviously, that's just the posts that you've bookmarked. I think this is more useful for subscribers than it is for creators, but I'll follow some people on OnlyFans as well because I think that it's almost hypocritical if I preach about how everyone should be buying privately produced entertainment without doing it myself. Sometimes I will use bigger sites if there is something specific that I'm looking for, especially when I'm doing research for custom videos that people might want to see, but I try to support my friends with their OnlyFans as well. I love to help my hot friends um, on their OnlyFans journey. Down below bookmarks, there is an option for the vault. If you go in the top right corner, you can go see your categories, which include posts that you've put on your story, posts that you've put on your profile, mass messages you sent out, and your saved live streams. And if you make any additional lists, you can use this button with the three lines in order to sort the lists that you've created. But let's go back up to our profile, back up to the sidebar. Here is the button for lists. I love using lists for prepaid videos, content that I've produced already and people might want to see it earlier than the masses. So sometimes I'll do some exclusive content like that. You know, like if you tip me $10, I'll send you this video two weeks before everyone else gets to see it, you know, little things like that. I also like to do a monthly list of my top subscribers so I can send them some extra content throughout the month. Below that we have settings where you can edit your profile, you can change your subscription price right here. There's a lot of things that you can add on there, you know, like your Spotify account, your Amazon wish list right here things you like. I guess I've never used that option before, but it is on there. <laughs> yeah, I would say the settings are fairly similar to any other site's settings tab. Below settings, you have statements, which I don't feel comfortable sharing mine with everyone on YouTube, but you can see all of the money that you've made from subscriptions, from tips. You can see your bank payouts. So if you've requested money, it'll show you when you requested it and if it's pending or if it has gone through. And my favorite, you can look at a monthly breakdown of how much you've made each month and it'll show you a line graph of the amount of money that you've made over time. This is also where you will find your percentage. Below that we have promotions again, which is the same as the promotions button that we saw on our homepage. Below that, it will ask you to input your information if you are choosing to subscribe to OnlyFans creators. And then they also have the bank option, which is to earn. So you'll have to put in your bank info if you are a creator. This is also where you will find your 1099 information for tax time. And obviously we can see the last couple of buttons are help and support. You can change it between light and dark mode. Obviously I have mine in dark mode. You can choose which language your settings are in. And then obviously there's the log out button. Across the top here, I'm gonna say, obviously this is the home button. There's a notification button that looks like a bell, just like the notification button that you should be hitting so that you're notified every time I post new YouTube videos. This little speech bubble, that is where you can check your messages. This button of a person in a circle, 
is how you access your personal profile. I think this video was fairly comprehensive regarding what all of the different features on OnlyFans are. And I thank you so much for joining me in this video today, and I will see you in the next one.